hello beautiful people welcome once again to my channel so today's tutorial will be on how to cut and sew a shirt collar straightforward and easy tutorial so if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe to my channel god bless you as you do that so let's get straight into this tutorial the first thing first is you have to measure the round neckline with your measuring tape so you can get the total number so after measuring after taking my measurements i got um 20 20 inches so i'm going to divide out 20 inches by two so use your tape pro and measure make sure you measure it twice so you can get the accurate number because sometimes there might be a mistake when you're doing it for the first time so you have to be sure by taking your measurement twice which is what i did in this video so after getting my accurate um, figure i folded my paper into two like so and divided the total number of the neckline by two which gave me 10 inches so i'm just going to be placing it on the paper like so and mark my 10 inches on the paper so i'm going to mark my 10 inches like so then rule a straight line upwards so i'm just going to use my ruler and mark this line upwards so next is for us to get the midpoint of this 10 inches so the midpoint is dividing that half by two which will give us five so i'm going to mark my five which is my midpoint of this collar then from that point i'm going to go upwards by one inches and connect this one inches to the midpoint so i'm going to be using my ruler to do this so i'll connect it to the midpoint so after doing this next to go upwards by one inches then at the midpoint i also go upwards by one inches then at the extreme right hand side i'll go upwards by one inches then i'll connect these dots together like so so i'm going to be using my ruler to do this so i'm going to connect the lines from the one inches upward i went to to the midpoint and then to the extreme right so this we've created our collar stand so this will be the collar stand so i'm just going to label it i use one inches so i'll know so at the extreme end of this i'm just going to create like a nice curve just to give it that nice curve you can make it straight you can make it curvy anyone you want so for creating the collar i'm just going to go inwards by one inches then from that one inches i went inwards I'll go upwards by two inches later on i change it to 2.5 inches because i wanted the collar to be long so it depends on you if you want it to be short you want it to be long it's fine so i used two inches here in this video which later on i changed to 2.5 so that at the midpoint i'm still going to mark that and at the extreme end i'm still going to mark that then i'm going to connect these three lines together first of all I'll connect the collar stand connect to the collar stand then from there i'll connect the lines the three lines like so you know connect um so this is it we've created our collar so now it's for us to cut this out so remember to add half an inch allowance all through when you're cutting on the fabric because if you cut it directly like this then you're going to be having problems when you're joining to the shirt so i'm just going to place this on the fabric like so then i'm going to mark my one inches round all through which will be my sewing allowance for this so i'm just going to mark like so my one inch allowance then after marking my one inch allowance i'm going to cut this out so i'm just going to cut this out so after cutting this is how it's going to look we are going to cut two pieces of the collar stand and two pieces of the collar so i've done that i've cut my two pieces so now it's for us to join the collar together the two pieces of the collar together so i'll take it to the same machine to do that so after joining this is how it's going to look i'll take it to the ironing table give it a nice press iron it very well so this is how it's going to look after ironing Going to iron this very well so now this is the um, collar stand 
one of the colors and i'll place it on on top then i'll place my color on top of the color stand like so as you can see me doing in the video then the second color stand i'll place it on top of the color so first color will be down then the color stand will be on top of the first color stand then the second color stand will be on top of the color like you can see me doing in the video just follow my step then i'm going to use a pin to secure this so i can take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch to hold all these three together so i'm just going to run a stitch like so as you can see me doing in the video take it to the sewing machine to sew so after sewing that i'm going to give it a nice press and then fold the edges inside like so and iron it very well after ironing this is how it's going to look so now we're going to attach it to the shirt so the edges that i folded i'm going to be attached attaching to the shirt first of all i need to get the midpoint of this collar then i'll mark it then also you get the midpoint of the shirts i'll also mark that using a chalk so when i'm sewing i will know which parts to sew first from the midpoint part i'm just going to mark this then join it to the shirt collar like so as you can see me doing so i'll use a pin to secure this to hold it very well so i'll take it to the sewing machine to sew so after sewing this is how it came out you can see my um collar is looking longer so if you don't want yours to be longer you can just make it short so mine i want it to be long that was why i added more inches to this so thank you so much guys for watching god bless you and please subscribe to my channel and also like this video god bless you as you do that bye